I'm Simon Hopkins, I'm the Chief Executive of Turn To Us, which is a national poverty charity. We help people when they hit tough times, we help connect them to the practical help that's out there, but that they so often don't know about. People say to me, charities are becoming more corporate. I've even had people saying to me, this is terrible, the accountants are taking over. And my response to that would be, well, we're running a business. It's a business that doesn't exist to distribute profits to shareholders. It's a business that exists to change society, to disrupt things that are unfair, to help the vulnerable and the oppressed. But it's still a business. We need business skills to do this. A couple of years ago, I did a speech at a conference. And we did a live poll. Everybody downloaded it onto their phones so it was anonymous. And we asked them the question, how many of you think that your chief exec has adequate financial literacy at the truly strategic level? 55% of the audience said they didn't believe that their chief exec had those skills. So we've got to do something. Some of the failures we've seen in, in charities in recent years have been down to poor financial sustainability. This comes down to understanding your business model Financial sustainability for me isn't about just posting a budget or, a, or an annual report that says here's one year of balance. I think it's a more sophisticated thing than that. If you're financially sustainable, you can make a more authentic promise to your beneficiaries. If you're a community hub and you're trying to build change in your community, it takes time to build those relationships. If you can't say to the members of that community, we don't know whether we're going to be around in six weeks. That's impossible to do. Similarly, if you're a research charity and you want researchers to be bold and strategic and to find those experiments that might lead to a breakthrough, you need to back them in the long run. You're backing them in the long run because they might save the life of somebody that you love. So this isn't about the accountants taking over. It's about something much, much more fundamental than that. And after all, in what businesses would we find it adequate for the chief executive to sit with the rest of the board and say, I don't actually understand the business model. The person sitting to my right or my left, who's the accountant, will explain all that to you. We wouldn't put up with it in most organisations, so why would we stand for it in charities? So for finance people who are thinking about making that step up to be a chief executive, it is an opportunity. The profession is becoming more outward looking and more confident and more extrovert. And things like our Inspiring Financial Leadership Programme is creating a bigger and bigger community of people who are ready to take that jump. But it's not just about the opportunity being there for us, it's about a responsibility. If we're going to maintain and grow public trust and confidence in charities, we have to run them really, really responsibly and financial sustainability is a big cornerstone of that. So if you're thinking about making that step and you're wondering, why should I do this? You should do this because your sector needs it. Our sector needs people with the most strategic financial skills, way past simply balancing a budget. Because if we have those people running charities, we will create a viable and sustainable and vibrant civil society. The implications of not doing that are too awful to contemplate.